Hello! Today we are going to have a look at Mikola's Harlick tree from a level design and world design perspective. And with Mikola's Harlick tree, I mean Mikola's Harlick tree. This part that I'm standing right now, up to the promenade where you fight. What's her name? Uh, Loretta, I think. This part is, or I count this part as a completely different area, so this is going to happen in a different video. This one is the Harlick tree part, which is all of this nice stuff over there. It doesn't look that big, and well, it isn't that big, but it's interesting to talk about. So let's start from this position. You will start your journey from this path over here. You're spawning here because you take a teleporter and it teleports you to this branch. And I think this is the only way getting to this spot. So if you want to visit the Halleck tree, you're starting out very high up on the branches of the tree itself. A very dangerous. I mean, for the player characters, it's even more dangerous because, well, there are enemies here, but let's say you're an Albanoric, you want to get here, uh, well, I hope you're not afraid of heights. So, while we're here, let's talk about how it looks, because this thing looks amazing. This is one of the most beautiful areas, I think at least. Um, not the most fun areas, uh, for me one of the least fun areas, but it looks amazing. Let's have a look at the tree, right, because it's interesting that this part of the tree looks somewhat fine, but over here it seems to be split in half, like, can we see it from here? Yeah, we have a part over here, and then we have a part over here, like, maybe these are, like, big, very big branches, like, where the stem is branching off, but this part over there, um, which is this part over here, looks a bit uh, destroyed. And overall, they're all uh, fungi growing on on this tree here, so it's not in the best shape. And of course, this is due to the rot. Thanks, Melania. Um, and due to the absence of Mikola over here. This is why the tree is slowly, but surely dying. But let's start going through this level right here. And these duters are the majority of enemies you are encountering at this part over here, which is not very pleasant. I'm not going over every single, or I'm not going every single way. Uh, it's basically a maze over here, like a branch maze, but where you want to go is, is this way. But let's say we arrived at that branch, then we literally have to jump down and jump around here. I can't imagine that this was the official way um, when they planned this layout, like world design tech, uh, from a world design perspective. Of course, it's a level design here, but I mean, the people living in the Harlick tree part, so down there, I think they had an easier time getting here than we have, like. Maybe the teleporter transported them into the, like, what's it called? Uh, treehouse part. Um, but it's quite annoying fighting, or not annoying, but somewhat dangerous fighting these enemies here. Sometimes it's annoying if the duters start duting at you and you can't reach them. And then you have these one-shot ants over here that they have a ranged attack where they, like, excrete acid, I guess, or some sort of brown liquid. 
that is hitting you and this can and this deals a lot of damage. But let's get actually it looks amazing, but it looks destroyed, right? Or rotten. And is it snowing? Or is this the ash from the uh, from the burning earth tree over there? Um, due to the update that we've got, the Coliseum update, I don't have my Seamless Corp mod character here because the Seamless Corp mod is currently not available. Um, it keeps crashing and I had to update my cheat engine because this wasn't working as well and I'm not quite comfortable with this one yet but we will see we will see and with updating I mean downloading a new one because I have no idea how to code um, but yeah now we are in the in the what's it called treehouse part I call it the treehouse part and yeah the shortcut is already up because well this is my one of my life characters and I've played through the game already with this character so pardon me of course the boss isn't alive either but let's have a look at the part of the Harlek tree that we are in right now because the architecture looks quite nice I mean, you can't deny it. It looks nice. And when I first went through here, it was a kind of weird experience because, as you can see, the material, like whatever this is made out of, like maybe marble, something like this, some sort of white stone, um, is warped. And when I first went through here, I thought, like, why does it look so weird? Oh, oh, it's not my my eyesight <laughs> that is uh, effed up, but it's the actual architecture that is warped with a bend, a lot of bends in there. And it's all depicting a tree, like with all the flowing features in here. They're like branches. Uh, actually, the roof is made out of tree parts and also this branching architecture what I'm not really a fan of is again a big ass leather and even um, the possibility of a place like this because yes you can build a treehouse but how do you live here right because all those people want to get to the Harlech tree because this is a safe space uh, from racism so to speak um, because Mikola accepts all and stuff like that but it looks clearly like some sort of city-ish stuff but how do you live here like these look like let's say it doesn't look like a living space right it looks like an art project to me more like an art project than a living space this is no place where you, where you can possibly live right and what are you eating where are you getting the food from do you every time have to teleport your f your food in here or i mean that wouldn't be so bad i guess but and where are you sleeping on the ground I mean, you have some moss and now some mushrooms, but isn't that comfortable? And what what is when it's raining or snowing, whatever? Like, is there no place where you can take shelter? No. But let's keep going, because the architecture looks quite nice. But these are the questions that I'm actually asking myself. How would you live here, right? Because while it looks good, it doesn't look practical. And never mind all those um, enemy repeats, which is also one of my gripes that I have with this area in particular. Because, yes, it makes sense having... Did he just... He just suicided himself, okay. Um, it makes sense that you have the misbegotten here, because they're a shunned race and they seek refuge here. And then you have some now 
zombified mushroom people here. Like the normal citizen citizens here, like were taken over by the rot and stuff like this. Because they're because they can't die, they're just here with fungi. But I'm kinda bitter about the fact that there are no new enemy types here. Maybe a different sort of misbegotten, because all of these misbe misbegotten and zombie people we've already seen in other areas of the game. And it would be nice to see a different type of enemy, you know what I mean? Like, maybe a different variation of the misbegotten. And yes, we have a different variation of the zombie people, zombie people with fungi, but that's kind of meh. If maybe I'm the only one feeling like that. And then, how are you supposed to get to this plaza over here? Like, like for real, are you... Do you have to go up and down these ladders over here, like, constantly? I mean... That's kind of weird, right? Like, it's not big enough to be a city. Like, uh, they could have gone overboard with the design of this, put a lot more buildings here. Maybe buildings that the player can't access. Again, um, maybe not so much with um, doors that you can't open, but maybe with broken down bridges and stuff like this. Because we have bridges here, bridges made out of wood, as we can see right down there. Um, but or maybe just broken down staircases like these that would lead to other parts of the city on the tree but they're not here it could also be that the tree wasn't really finished so this is all still in construction and you could argue with that but there is still no indication of that happening right Maybe we can see off in the distance some buildings that are unfinished, for example, and stuff like this, right? Because right now it's just one big level, and we clearly have broken off parts like this over here, but not that many. Like, this is one of the only ones, right? So I wonder, is this all, or was there more planned? And... With planned, I mean um, not planned by the developers, but planned by the people that are living here, that are that were building this place, right? Is this thing here finished, or is there was there an, an intention to build more buildings here, right? That's what I'm asking myself, and I think that's fair. And again, like. We have all these uh, rooms or houses. Uh, I don't know what I call these. What, what is this? Is, is this a house? Because there is like nothing in here but a statue. Like very open windows. You, I mean, it's not isolated. It's basically open just gives you a bit of shelter um, stops you maybe from getting wet uh, sometimes if it's not windy but it's not really practical then over here we have a statue which I can only imagine to be maybe it's either a mother and, and their child right or it could depict um, Mikola, like, sheltering uh, a child or something like this. But I guess it's a mother and child. Because this place is basically depicting the... the big refuge, right? Like... It is... Like, the place you can come to when everyone hates you. Like, they're not discriminating you, they accept all. And this is like... It's really interesting because um, Mikola currently is a big mystery in this game because 
yes, we can see Mikola in the boss fight versus um, Mogwin, right, at the Mogwin Palace. And this cocoon egg thingy is Mikola. Um, but we don't really know how they tick. And I know it's a male character, but there's a lot of... Uh, How do I say? I, I I have no idea how to say that, but he's not depicted as a male character, nor as a female. Like, he's both, basically. Like, this both depiction of Mikola. Let's say um, typical gender roles don't apply to him. I guess that's what you can say. Because they've all planned this stuff with Saint Trina, which is basically Mikola and, and stuff like this, and Saint Trina's female and, and stuff like this, so But what is still a mystery, I at least I think is a mystery, at least a mystery to me, is how Mikola thinks, because Mikola has the ability, as we can see with uh, this thing, the bewitching branch, to make people like Mikola. Like, literally, they like him because of his aura or some sort of his power. This is his power, right? That people, that he can make people like him. But how does Mikola tick? You know what I mean? Is he doing this for himself? Is he, like, selfish So and wants to build an army, for example? Or does he really want people to be happy and safe and stuff like this, right? Um, but let's go back to the interior design of this place. We have some fancy chandeliers and some cool looking candles or candelabra stuff. Uh, how is this called? I don't know. Is candelabra Pokemon or chandelabra? I don't know. Some sort of Pokemon. <laughs> But we have furniture, we have chairs here, so I guess it's nice that you can sit at least uh, in here. And yeah, we have some spirit caller snails calling forth the, what are they called, the, the, they have very big noses. <laughs> uh, Chris, Crystallion or something like this, right? Crustacean. No. Let's jump over here. Um, so far, uh, the level design, of course, is very linear. We only have some short, very short branches that you can explore, for example, underneath here. You can jump to. And yeah, it's broken off, but something is broken off here. But where is this part usually connected to is what I ask myself here because is it connected to the area down there or does it go up to the rooftops i have no idea and this looks like the closest place to a living space that we have in this area and there is still no bed and no toilet by the way this game has no toilets it has beds, but I haven't seen a toilet. Or maybe I have, I don't know. Are they sleeping on this carpet? Or maybe uh, in this room there is a bed. And they actually have doors that the player can't open. How nice of them. But maybe this is a bedroom. Nice, they have one bedroom. But still, they have very open houses, so... If there is like a... What is it called in English? Like, not a storm, but, or maybe a storm, when it's very bad weather. Where where are they going? Like, everything is getting wet, all your books are getting wet, because the water, the, the rain is just, whoop, flying in. Rain is not flying straight down to the earth. Or maybe it is here. But, oh well. Again, nice, we can't access that. But this is uh, this area we are in right now is the closest to 
a quote-unquote city or housing part of this area. And I will go down here to have a look at these rooms over here because it's like a trigger nice because it's still a bit too empty for my liking right it looks amazing don't get me wrong it looks amazing but it doesn't look practical and this is what I'm kind of this is what bothers me right because you have this place where people can seek refuge, but all it is is basically just empty rooms that are not really sheltered from rain and wind, right? Are you praying to the statue? I don't know. I think, and what is this? Am I supposed to jump on there? And then what? Or maybe I can get to them there. Let's see. Okay, I'm here now and then I can possibly... Oh, nice. I haven't used that before because I like to cheese these people here. Uh, wh why are here... Why are the mages here? Like, they're just here to fuck you up, right? They're just here to make your day worse because... They have annoying spells, so to speak, like the Cannon of Fima and the Hammer of Fima or whatever it's called, like very big AoE spells and you can't even stagger them that easily, like they're just built different, so to speak. But then, let's say you're coming out of this room thingy and you want to keep going and then you have this, like... I wouldn't want to go over this bridge. I wouldn't be that, like, brave. First of all, there are a lot of open spaces here, so you're bound to topple over, like, and fall. Right? Yeah. You have to be very careful. And then, on top of that, it's very steep. Like, this is very steep, it's, and it's easier to walk up than walk down, but that's the point, right? You want to walk down here, and you have, you, you can't, like, grab onto something, or only to the ground, I guess, to the bridge itself, but no, I, I no, 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 I wouldn't want to go over here. Like, I don't trust these bridges at all. Of course, in a game, you can just do that, but in real life, I mean... I wouldn't want to do that. And these... It's freaking mages, and... Look how tall this one is, like... Twice the size of the player character. It's like... What the hell? Are these giants? What, what race is this? Is this a human? What... Albinoric? They aren't that big, right? This is some sort of superhuman, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he got elongated by his magic. I don't know. Whatever. And again, very steep over here. Uh, by the way, over there is the shortcut. Um, Alright, yeah. The shortcut goes up, not down. I'm stupid. But... Let's evaluate this elevator over here, shall we? Because I like to complain about elevators in these games, and this is no exception. First of all, this is supposed to make a mechanism. There is a cogwheel here, as you can see. What mechanism am I triggering that lets the elevator from up there go down here? And what mechanism lets this elevator go up which is, by the way, only carried by these two strings, like these true cords, whatever you want to call them, cable cords, like ropes, I guess rope is the right. Like, you can't tell me that there's a working mechanism lifting this thing up when I crank on this lever or when I step on that pressure plate, you, no. 
No, 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 no. These elevators make no sense and I wish they were uh, made out of, no, uh, powered by magic, right? Because we have magic in this game. Here I can cast stuff. I, I can summon a dragon to do stuff, right? But we only have magic powered elevators in Noxtella and the other city, Nokron. Only these elevators are powered by magic, not even Rhea Lucaria's elevators. Uh, maybe Rhea Lucaria has one, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But here is what I was missing before, I guess. No, I was not. Never mind. This is disappointing. Uh, because over here we have, of course, our fight, uh, the boss fight versus Loretta, the real version this time, the real version of Loretta. Um, but then what? This is basically the end of the Harlech tree part, and the other part is, what is it called, like El Fael Brace of the Harlech tree. El Fael. Sounds like an angel, right? Um, I was hoping when I was approaching this place over here this looks like an entrance from the side right with a big 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 door and then you can get into that silly tree because it's emptied out and then you can live inside the tree right but then I saw this oh, it's just it's just a roof for a big ass statue Unlucky, I guess. But um, let me go down to the next grace because this is also a bit aggravating. Is aggravating a ver a word a word? Like, I don't I don't get this part. In order to get to this big ass area. Which looks amazing. Even on the map it looks amazing and mysterious, right? You have to go down a staircase. Okay, fine. Fine. Staircase. I carry my barrels or whatever I want to bring down there. Uh, I carry the box or something like that. Oh, oh. Oh. There is, there is a ladder. I have to descend a ladder. And by the way, this ladder is terribly high like would you climb up this ladder in real life because I would not like no I wouldn't go down the ladder I wouldn't go up the ladder I wouldn't even approach this ladder because like that is high up That is... How long was this ladder? Like 40, 50 meters or even more? Like only the ladder. Not down there. It's, it looks like two kilometers or something like that. I don't know. Um, getting to that. Then again, this is a tower, by the way. This is a freaking tower. And I guess because... Well, we are technically in the next area, but I still have some time left, right? I'm gonna talk about this again. Because here, in this tower, we have chronolations and... Well... I guess it doesn't even matter who attacks from the water. You, you don't even need this part. No one is going to attack from that area, so... I don't care. This looks amazing. Doesn't really make sense having these high up chronolations like no, not for a normal human. I guess you can use these uh, arrow slits this time for real. So this is good. So for a normal human this would uh, definitely work. Um, then you have these biggest things. It looks amazing. This tower looks amazing and it would actually work as a real tower with only the problem that there is the way you get onto this tower is via a staircase that is outside of the tower again like 
Why is it outside? It doesn't even have a railing yet. Like, it's too dangerous here. But who cares, right? Let's call this elevator. That again makes no sense. Like, how is this mechanism working? How does it work? No one knows because it doesn't work. It's just there. And yeah, it's open. Like, if I step over here, wouldn't this thing swing like crazy and possibly throw me off? Like, am I crazy or isn't this how it works? When you step here, like, it would swing around and then if you're unlucky, you're falling off, I guess. Well. And now we are in the awesome looking area, which is actually up to a specific point, fun to play through, at least in my opinion. But this is what I'm talking about next time. So we had a look at Mikolas Harlech tree, uh, the Harlech tree portion over here. And let's rate this place, shall we? Starting with level design, specifically the enemy, the diversity and placement. What type of enemies do we have? We have the envoys or envoys, whatever you want to call them. Uh, three types of them, uh, the small one, the medium one, and then the really, really large one. Then we have plants and ants. And in the Harlech tree part, or the city part, or whatever I want to call this, how is, how is the game calling it? Harlech tree town. The, the Harlech tree town. In the Harlech tree town, there were all types of misbegotten. I, th I, I think they were missing the... Or maybe they had bow ones, I don't know. I think some of them had wings, yeah. So all types of misbegotten. We had the... Normal type, the type with wings, I guess, the scaly ones, and the lionie misbegotten, whatever they're called, something like this. Then plants, the zombie dudes, um, plants, zombie dudes, ants as well, uh, then spirit caller snails who were summoning crystallians and then on top of that two of the big mages so there are quite a lot of enemies in there but um i don't know man all of these enemies we had in the in previous areas right uh, like all of these enemies we had in previous areas, like Castle Morn, we had the misbegotten plants are basically everywhere. We had the ants in the underground, stuff like that, right? Nothing new. No Harlick tree specific enemies. And I get it, it's an optional area. You don't need to go here, but you need to go here. Like, it's optional, but for a full playthrough, you should go here, like... Or you're missing out on a lot of stuff, right? So that there's no new enemy is a bit uh, is, a, is a bit disappointing, I must say. The level design itself it is um, without the enemy placement quite fun to go and find your way over these branches, right? It's quite fun. Uh, in the town itself, it's getting a bit linear. You have here and there a different path that is leading you to an item or something like this. But it's basically a linear area, linear experience, which doesn't need to be bad, but it's nothing special. The branch part is more unique, I would say. Although it's... With the enemy placements, uh, it's getting a bit annoying with all the duters that are dealing quite a lot of damage, specifically the part where there are three of the envoys in a row and you have to basically go underneath them and around to get to them to clear them out 
or you use a ranged weapon. It's a bit tedious, so it's not the most fun area to go through. But it's also not the worst. Like, I personally enjoy this part of the whole Harlech tree, like the second least, or the second most, because there are basically three parts for me. Um, well, maybe there are four parts, and it's the third best or the second worst, uh, whatever. Uh, it's not very that, uh, not, not that good, right? I would give the level design with enemy placements like a 6 or 7-ish, something, pro probably a 6. It's above average. Uh, it's not not enjoyable, but it's definitely um, it's definitely worth the late game title, right? So, then the world design. This area is unique. Like, have we had this one in previous Dark Souls Bloodborne titles? Um, not really, maybe I'm forgetting something, but we had Blight Town, which is basically not nothing like this, and then we had like the Great Hollow, which is also really nothing like this. Am I forgetting something? Wasn't there a... At least it's not in my memory, that's for sure. But maybe there's something that I'm forgetting, but... The world design of this part over here is, is quite nice. We have the ivory... Is it ivory? I was thinking of marble, but now that I th say it out loud, maybe it's ivory, something like this. We had this... Uh, white stone structure of the town which looks amazing the thing um, the thing is quite interesting right because it looks amazing but does it make sense not really not even from a high fantasy standpoint because first of all how they, how are they getting their food where are they sleeping can they live there like or is it just to go through? It's called a town, so they're probably living there, but it doesn't look like you can live in there, right? You can seek shelter, for sure, but you're not living in there. Uh, so this is a bit off, So, but it's still good-looking, so I would still give it an, a, a 7, something like this, a 7 maybe. So let me know how you would rate this area that we've gone through so far and that's it from me goodbye